Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Lagrange. Today we want to continue our series about the best frontline or tank ships we have in game and last video was about frigate frontline. Today we are going to cover our destroyers. To do this I will quickly have to update a few of my ships. Um, and the easiest way to do this is to use the research agreement as we can get information about every ship no matter if we have it or not there. So I will have to speed that up. We will see if I'm getting lucky today um, with another good ship and then we will go into the list with all the destroyers that can be in front line and see what we get there. So let's draw the blueprint. I can already tell you destroyers are much more interesting than frigates. For the frigates it is very clear. Wow! I got a T-800. That is, that is big. This is, this is the best corvette in game. Maybe even one of the best ships in game. If you do have a carrier, um, even the CV-3000 is nice for this. You you can bring this and this is this is just a beast. The T-800 Pulsar Corvette. Um, it, it got 2400 anti-ship damage, 3192 anti-air. Um, if we look, we do energy damage. That means there's no defense for any of the airships. 120 damage per hit. This will just burn through everything. Um, amazing ship. We will go into the details of the combats later. For me, this was for sure the best pull I ever had in that season. Um, and I'm glad that I got it on video and can share it with you. So, ah, damn, I need another 25 research points. But I will get there somehow. Um, and then I will update the list with all the ships if possible and I will show you what you can do for the destroyers. So let's take a look into the ships we have available. As always let's look first into an excel sheet here to have an overview. Um, I already sorted the ships by position. The only ship I'm not completely sure about is the AC721 um, with the iron cannon. So far what I see is that all or at least most ships that have energy weapons are front row. Maybe someone can confirm if it is front row or not. Um, with an energy weapon for sure it is very interesting but with 20 armor it would anyhow not be the best tanking ships that we have available here. So that said let's take a look. We have some ships that have really outstanding armor here. So I did change the filter to show first the highest armor. So first we only sorted by front row, middle row, back row, then the highest armor and then the highest HP. And I think that already shows us um, very likely the best ship for the front line will be the Eldebra. Um, yes, you do lose a little bit of damage, but if you look for the best value the most durable ship you can put there. You do get an additional 7 armor. Does this really make the difference? It is hard to say. It always depends who you fight against. Also, you do get an additional around, yeah, a little bit more than 10% HP compared to the generic Eldebra. But if we say what is the best front row tank ship, that very, very likely would be the Eldebra. Sorry, that would be the Eldebra armored type. We also do have the Tauros directly after this. Um, I just got one Tauros. The, where do we have that one here? Ah, here, the offensive type. The offensive type can only go up to 36 armor. So that's a huge difference to the 53 armor we have there. Um... For the assault and the defensive type, this will look a little bit different, but um, unfortunately I do not have them yet. They will be, as far as I understand, also around 46 armor. The defensive type, I think, has an additional um, armor slot that we can modify, so it will also go over 50 armor. And um, then 
the defensive Taurus and the armored type Aldebra. They will be the top tier for our front row. They are very, very durable, have high armor. They both have very high HP, highest HP from all these um, ships. The only other ships there are surprisingly the Tundra um, that have such high HP. But um, the armor for them is really not that good and they are back row. So what other ships do we have? We do have the Ares Heavy Cannon. So why Ares Heavy Cannon? And um, that's the same thing there. The Ares Cannon type has higher evade, but it is mid row. So the Ares Heavy Cannon is a front row ship and it comes with a total of around 41% evade and 36 armor, which is already pretty nice. But um, I tried it. I did try it a lot also. I tried a lot with the uh, Wing Tusa because these ships were available for me for a long time. And to be honest with you, I did not get out any great results from them. So what I did then is um, I skipped them and I were just using um, frigates for tanking. And I cannot say this often enough. Make sure you understand the priorities of the enemy weapon systems. But let's go back to, to the types um, of the destroyer class. We do not really have an amazing overpowered evade ship here. The Ares has some evade, has some armor. So it is it is okay if I would need to rank it. It would probably be um, still the second tier. It's not S tier like the Eldabra and the Taurus. But it is pretty solid. Um, next there then would be the Wing Tuzar. You can see the HP of the Wing Tuzar is way too low. I don't know why a front row ship will come with only 20,000 HP. We can take a look at this. Um, I told you already I played around with this and I, I do like the Wing Tuzar. Um, I played early in game with them and I, I really enjoyed them but especially later in game they are just not that good anymore. So we are talking about the anti-aircraft area denial version. And you can see here it's only 20,000 HP. These Wing Tuzars, they are squishy as hell. And that is very sad because, um, yeah, if you put them in the front row like the anti-aircraft one, it is just not good enough anymore if you ask me. In the back row, being able to strike back row ships, that is something different. It works very well there, but um, that would be talking about DPS. So if you go into, you're looking for the Eldabra preferred, the armored version. It is crazy strong with the reinforced armor. You can see here, I got a basic armor of 45. Um, the classic is the Taurus. Um, as I said, I only have the offensive type at the moment creating. It comes with an energy weapon system. So even the basic version is still reasonable. It is definitely not as good as the defensive version or the Eldabra. It does some decent damage, but what does it help you if your ship is getting destroyed too quickly here? So let's switch quickly to the patterns. I just have the feeling if you didn't watch the video about the attack order, take a look there. Um, we were talking about destroyers and frigates in the last two videos. So there are amazing frigates. The Carillion Special is just a crazy good frontline frigate. And um, why did I skip destroyers? It is pretty easy. If you do have destroyers and frigates in the front line, they will get attacked first, usually with a small ship attack pattern, the destroyers, then the frigates. But if you don't have any destroyers in the front line, just in the middle or in the back row, they will still start targeting the frontline frigates first. Um, important for this is you need to have a larger number. I did explain this in detail in the other video. If you didn't watch this, I said, take a look at it. Um, so if you don't have one of the top ships for defending in destroyers, skip the destroyers and use the top ships from the frigates if you have them as defense in the front line. They will still protect your middle and rear row ships 
um, even if you have destroyers in the middle or rear row. So that works very well. Frigates are also very cheap, um, but keep in mind there are not so many options you have there. And um, yeah, that's, I think, the most important message I can give you there. Check the ships that you have. Um, if you do have Eldabras or Tauros, use them. I played around with the Wing Tuzar. It did not work out really well for me. The Eris is okay. The main reason why I would use the Eris is um, it also does an, a really um, amazing damage. It got a main cannon with a 300 damage per hit. Um, prioritizing small ships, which somehow is yeah surprising so it will start with destroyers frigates and then it will go to carriers battle cruisers and cruisers same thing there it will start in the front row and work its way back but um it is okay um early in game it works very well because early in game um with the armor you can get here you can already um get the damage from enemy frigates and most enemy destroyers nicely down but mid game um, the Aris and the Wing Tuzar don't really do the trick for me anymore. M mid and end game, there's only the Eldabra and the Taurus, in my opinion, to use as um, tanking ships. And um, the Taurus Pulse Cannon got a little bit too low armor, in my opinion. But um, if you get the defensive type, that is great. So yeah, let me know what do you use. Um, what experience did you make with the different ships? I already got um, a feedback there from Shaftik who said um, the Eldabra will out damage the Tauros, at least in stock, if the enemy is destroyer and below. And I do believe that because um, for the destroyers and below there's no um, high armor. Okay, they also have no energy resistance, but um, as they don't have high armor, the cannons from the Eldabra will work very well. And we still have a 7600 um, anti-ship damage. For the armored type, it really drops down to 6.3. But the Tauros um, only comes with 6200. So, um, yeah, that's the unmodified values. If you modify them both, they should do better. Um, it's no question for high armor targets the Taurus will do more damage but as mentioned earlier in the video this would be something that goes into the direction of DPS ships. I will do another series of videos for the DPS ships later. Um, now we are going to finish the tank ships front row ships to give you the best um, possibility to start setting up your fleet there. So I hope this helped you. Hope I was able to give you some good tips. Um, important for this is early in game you can use suboptimal ships in front row and just put armor into them. It will work. But as soon as enemies come with um, cruisers or higher damage ships, they will just get smoked down. And you really have to use the specifically designed ships with high armor, high HP, or when we talk about the frigates, really high evades. So as usual, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you on the next video again.